We're seeing all these Christmas stories, uh, but it certainly didn't feel like Christmas the last several days. Mm -hmm. Very cold yeah, this morning. Cold, cold down, yeah. It yeah. felt like winter a little Finally bit. Finally feeling like winter. Santa uh, brought it down from the North Pole with it. Down <laughs> from the plains, did not bring the snow for most of us. There's actually yeah. a chance this evening that a couple communities up north could see a couple flurries, but it's not mm. going to be like you go to bed and you wake up and the ground is white. Nothing like that, and certainly not for 99% of the state. Our Lucky Star Sky Cam network across the state is quiet. The sun is down. Some of us don't have very many clouds at all. The farther north you go, the more clouds we have. And today, we have seen our temperatures officially peak now 44. The official data is in at Will Rogers. Earlier it said 43, so now 44, still below average. But you look up across the north where it was colder today, some thicker clouds, and some highs stuck in the 30s in north central Oklahoma. So chillier for some folks for this Merry Christmas afternoon. And that is our first change. Again, that 44 changed literally between the ad break and now. But that's our first day below average since December 10th. The month has been incredibly warm. Even some of our rainy days that we have had, the air temperatures have been above average. So for the month so far, seven degrees above average is Oklahoma City, much colder than average air up across the plains where we have traveler advisories, winter storm warnings in effect, even some ice storm warnings. It's a big system that's packing a punch. There's the rain off to the east that we were dealing with for a while. And here's a little bit of that snow, some snow that a couple communities in far northern Oklahoma could see a few flurries out of like Byron right there. You see that tiny little snow shower pass by. This could be anything from very light rain to perhaps a few flakes of snow coming in. Pond Creek, Jefferson, and Lamont saw that little sprinkle, but right behind it comes that snow shower. So we'll see if we can get anything white for Christmas here across northern Oklahoma tonight. But as mentioned, it's nothing that's going to stick. We're mainly chilly. And as this storm system is going to take a while, it's going to be a mainly dry end to 2023 for us. But since it kind of grinds to a halt, it takes a couple of days to get out of here. We could see in far northern Oklahoma some more of that wraparound precipitation as we go through the next couple of afternoons. We'll be above freezing, though, here across central Oklahoma. And then by Thursday, it's out of here. The chilly air stays on the nine day for a while, but we return to the 50s by the time we get to Saturday. And then we head into New Year's Eve. That is Sunday, less than a week away. Our New Year's front arrives, but it's looking dry and it doesn't look all that insanely cold. The real Arctic cold is not with us on New Year's, though it will be chillier New Year's afternoon. There's the real Arctic cold, that Canadian cold. It stays well up to the north. It still just does not want to crack down the plains and pay us a visit. And by the middle of next week, we could be looking at another storm system. But a lot of questions remain on that. So we'll watch that as it plays out. Regency Cam is quiet. Lucky Star Sky Cam Network 40 for the air temp, 33 the feels like out at Will Rogers. We are starting to see more and more 30s across central Oklahoma, 32 right now. The freezing line is here in the metro. It's in El Reno. There's another blob of the freezing line up in far northwestern Oklahoma. Factor in the wind, which for most of us has been lightening up, and it feels quite a bit chillier. Feels like the low 30s to mid 20s in central Oklahoma, lower 20s and even some teens up across the north and into the panhandle. Lows tonight fall back into the 20s and 30s. Basically, everyone below freezing. Winds will be lighter, but we could st still see wind chills in the lower 20s early tomorrow. Tomorrow afternoon, temperatures rebound just a slight bit. 48 Oklahoma City, lower and mid 40s up across the north before things cool down again on Wednesday with low 40s and upper 30s possible in far north central and northeast Oklahoma. But you see a, a few fronts, but not a lot of rain as we head into and past the new year. That's all we got for now, but sports is up next.